Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to match a pair of trousers with a navy blazer. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the button right above here, and you'll make sure to get these delivered to your inbox. We're making a big push this year, putting out a lot of videos, and so I don't want you to miss any. And if you're subscribed, they'll come right to your inbox. In addition, if you'd like to learn more about navy blazers, go ahead and click on the article down below. We talk about them in a lot more detail. But in this video, I'm gonna talk about matching a pair of trousers with a navy blazer. Now, blazers come in other, there are red blazers, there are uh, dark green blazers, there are brighter blue bra blazers, <laughs> lots of blazers. But uh, we're gonna be talking about the navy blazer. And I'm not gonna get into the specifics about the exact type of fabric. There are, are quite a few fabrics out there that a navy blazer could be made from. But for all intents and purposes, this is gonna be one that almost looks like a suit, except it's going to have the typical gold or silver buttons. Uh, you could have actually white mother of pearl or smoked mother of pearl as well. So, but typically on a navy blazer, a true navy blazer, you're gonna see some type of nautical theme to it and that's where you're gonna have the gold or the silver buttons. In addition, you'll occasionally see them to be double-breasted, but most of the blazers I see out there now in the year 2010 and being sold by the larger manufacturers, they're all single-breasted. So I'm gonna be focusing on single-breasted navy blazers, assuming that you're going to have gold or silver buttons, although Mother of Pearl look great. So don't, you know, consider that if you've got one and you want to change it up for the summer. Okay, so what are the types of trousers? My favorite, by far, gray flannel. Underused, j just something that before World War II was huge. After World War II, we started to see it fade away. You know, flannel used to be used heavier in suits, and so you saw flannel fabrics being made in a lot of off-the-rack suits before and just after World War II, but they started disappearing in the early 19, late 1950s, early 1960s, and they just haven't made a comeback. And because of that, flannel trousers in general have disappeared. I love any type of gray flannel trouser with a navy, uh, navy blazer. And the reason being is it clearly does not match. It's a different color, but it just, it just works so well. And I really like the idea that you still go with a, a Anywhere from a medium to a charcoal gray will work with, with the dark navy. And it just, it allows the eyes, a very monochromatic look, and allows the eyes to go up and down. And, and that's really important if you're a shorter man or you're a bit stout, because you don't want the, you don't want that navy blazer, you know, cutting you in half or anything like that. So again, gray flannel trousers, if you can find them, a little bit harder to find. I know I, I make them over at a tailored suit, my custom clothier, but you can probably find some either in vintage stores or j just do a search out there and see what you can find. Um, gray worsted trousers is a second choice. Now, what's the difference? Worsted wool is going to be a uh, lighter weight. It's not going to have the, uh, the nap surface. So with a uh, with a flannel, they actually treat it afterwards and they run this machine over that kind of pulls out a little bit of the fabric and it's also usually a bit heavier. Uh, worsted wool is gonna be what you would typically see in suits. And this is gonna be a lot easier to find. You could go to a number of menswear stores and you're gonna find these right off the rack. They will work. I, I don't like them as much because it's almost, if, if the fabric's too dark and it's too close to navy, it's almost gonna look and violate one of the principles of wearing any type of sports jacket or, or navy uh, blazer. And that's it, you do not want the trousers to match the jacket too closely or to match it exactly. Because then it's gonna look like you're trying to put a suit together. And that's a big, big no-no. Don't, <laughs> whenever you're wearing a sports jacket or a blazer, you don't want it to look like you're trying to put a suit together. That just looks bad. So avoid, Black trousers, for that reason, I'm, I'm not going to recommend them. Uh, navy blue trousers, do not wear them with a navy blue blazer. Now, brighter blues and true blues, perhaps. I, I, I have to see it. I've seen it. I, I've seen it in images. I've seen younger men pull it off. It looks pretty good. But, uh, okay, so we've talked about gray flannel trousers. We've talked about gray worsted wool trousers. Now let's talk about chinos. And this is something that you see a lot, especially on college campuses. Young men like to pull this off. And it looks good on a young man if the trousers and the jacket fit him well. Otherwise, if, if he's a portly gentleman or a little bit heavier weight or short, then that stark contrast between the top and the bottom, it kind of, it draws attention to that contrast area and it makes you look short. So 
you can pull this off, again, if you're in pretty good shape, you don't have to be in great shape, but you need to you know, be able to take care of yourself. You need, be, you need to be able to go out and run a mile. So if you can't do that, then double, don't, don't really go with this khaki tan. I see a lot of politicians trying to pull this off and these are guys that are pretty heavy and it just makes their upper body look bigger and their lower body look smaller. But otherwise, if you've got a decent body, this looks great because the contrast really, it really clearly states that this is a navy blazer. It actually makes the jacket pop a bit more. Even though it does draw attention to the trousers, we quickly move down to the shoes because usually you're going to be wearing dark shoes with this. And so it allows you to draw a bit more attention to the footwear. And uh, so I really like this combination. But again, with chinos, khakis, any type of tan trouser, make sure also that the style, that they're not I don't know, cheap $10 khakis. I mean, really, although you can find some great deals for $10 in thrift stores, but make sure they're cut and, and they look crisp and clean. You don't want anything that's distressed or faded or, or worn. That just kind of take, it takes away from it and it doesn't look right. Now, talking about distressed and faded and worn, jeans. Okay, the only time you should be wearing jeans with holes in them with a navy blazer is if you're a musician or you're a rock star of some sort, you know, or you're, you're maybe a Hollywood actor. If you're not in that category, you really need to reconsider wearing uh, distressed jeans with a navy blazer. Now, raw denim, that's a whole nother story. Raw denim in a dark indigo almost looks like a pair of dress slacks. And I think that that looks very nice with a navy blazer. It's something though, I'm not a big fan of, about uh, you know rolling up the bottom uh, of the denim and wearing it with the navy. It draws a little bit too much attention, but I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of it. I, I've, I've, I've pulled this look off and I think it works for the younger man. Once you pass the age, I think of uh, 50 or 60, well, it depends. If you go out and you get some of the, there's some Xenia makes some really nice jeans and, and there's a few other ones out there. Who is it? Uh, Ah, you'll have to go to one of my jean articles and we talk about jeans for the older man. So if you're pulling off the right type of denim, hey, you know, go for it. The last thing with jeans I'm going to talk about, white jeans. I have seen these pulled off with a navy blazer and it looked actually pretty good. So if you've got the cojones, go for it. If not, well, <laughs> you know, just, I don't know, go, go back to the khakis. Okay. Corduroy. And I want to thank my friend uh, Bernhard uh, Rotzel. He wrote the book Gentleman, and he's got some great images of how corduroy can work with a navy blazer. Now, again, it, this is like the uh, the chinos and the khakis. Make sure the corduroy fits you well, because if it doesn't fit you well, it's just going to be a bad look. It's going to look too baggy. It's not going to look right. And also, if you're going to go with a stark contrast, again, you need to be in pretty good shape and make sure the jacket is fitted and go for a little bit shorter of, of a jacket. That's going to help uh, balance the look. And corduroy, you can get that in red, brown, gold. Uh, the thing with corduroy is the texture is really going to differentiate it from the jacket. And, and that's key whenever matching a jacket and a pair of trousers. Last but not least, linen. So light colored linen, and this will be a bit looser. Linen is worn loose. You can pull this off in the summer. And this looks great, especially if your jacket is unlined. And by unlined, you know, it just basically doesn't have the lining on the inside. This jacket I'm actually wearing is unlined. And that helps keep the heat away. And if you're in, a, in, in an instance where you need to be wearing a jacket, you need to be looking sharp during the summer and it's hot, well, linen trousers with an unlined blazer jacket with perhaps a linen shirt, that's going to be a pretty sharp look, especially if it's single-breasted. If it's double-breasted, you might need to wear something on the neck. But, uh, okay, the general rule, again, is make sure that your navy blazer does not too closely match your trousers. If some people are mistaking it as a suit, it's a bad combination. If not, you know, usually the brighter colors, the uh, little bit more off uh, combinations, those require a bit of courage. But I encourage you to try it because you only live once. So go out there and uh, dress with style. <laughs> this has been Antonio Centeno with Real Men Real Style. Oh, by the way, if you haven't already, go visit Real Men Real Style. We've got a great email list that I highly advise you join. We give away a 47-page ebook, an 80-minute audio. Every single day I get thank yous. People saying, wow, I can't believe you're giving this away for free. Well, we are, and it's really good content. I think you'll enjoy it if you enjoyed this video. And again, article down below, we'll talk to you more about Navy Blazers. Take care. Bye-bye.